Connie and I am Connie's Country Finds on eBay and Country Underscore Finds on Poshmark and I am driving around with my husband today because I seen an estate sale this morning but it ended up being the wrong day. It's next weekend, of course, by luck. So we decided that we were going to try to hit some garage sales while we are up here so it didn't waste any time and I I think we, I went the wrong way. <laughs> um, I think I'm actually going to try to head to Salvation Army and see what we can find there. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, stick around. I don't come here very often. It's kind of a yucky store, but when something else doesn't go through, you have to pivot, so. Okay, this is just a good disclaimer at the beginning here. What we can find. I am playing music because they had their music blaring and YouTube doesn't like that. And if they catch it on my video, then I'm in trouble. So that is why there is music over this video. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but this is the only way I could do a walkthrough with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video anyways. And please stay tuned till the end and you will see our haul. Need a sauna suit, babe? Sauna suit? I don't think you sweat enough. <laughs> of course. Oh, that's cute. Probably wouldn't be worth it. Oh, look. It's Mario Brothers. It's electronic, runs on batteries or something. how cute that is. Somebody made that and personalized it for someone. Pretty. What a fine meadow. It's Linux. Oh wow. Color 97 East. Are they in good condition? No chips? I don't see no chips in this one. What do you think, guys? Splenix. There's four of them. I think I might take a chance on these. These are newer, though. The microwave to dishwasher is safe. Which is a good thing. Is that Oh, okay. Looked up those plates and they look like a winner, so we got all four of them. 
See guys, this is why I like to bring him because he looks at things that I don't normally look at. And he usually finds good stuff. Oh, this is cute. This is for anthropology. Look at this. How cute is this? Yeah. You also see for anthropology. That's really cute. Two ninety seven. I think I'm gonna give that a shot. Doesn't look like it has any track cracks or anything. Suck from here. <laughs> Mom, you're styling. That's really cute. Hot cider hustle one walk. <laughs> you guys seeing anything I'm not? I don't know. Catching my eye, just that one. Oh, that probably goes with this set. Too bad they don't have more teacups. Darn it! I don't want to just get one. Probably bought the other ones. Didn't really, they missed probably the set one. That's a bummer. Okay. Got a cup of coffee and we'll go the San Diego. San Diego is so expensive. I could only afford a half a cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much true. That's funny. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little walkthrough. We had so much fun today. It was kind of disappointing that I got the day wrong for the estate sale, but we may do. So let me go ahead and jump into the haul. I'm going to show you, we went to a garage sale first on the way to another garage sale. And then we decided to go from that garage sale to Salvation Army. We only bought from one garage sale and from the Salvation Army. So let me go ahead and show you that real quick. Um, all right, I got a couple of breakables from the garage sale. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this is the right bag. Nope, this is Salvation Army. Okay. All right. From the garage sale, um, I picked up one of these from my last thrift store haul that I had just did, but um, we actually found two more, and they're just for our gutters. So we were lucky to find these at the garage sale. They were only asking $2 a piece for them. So we went ahead and picked those up for our gutters. Um, I thought this was really cute. I don't think it's anything special, but I'm trying to get some stuff uh, for Halloween and fall. So, um, this is a candle holder. It holds a candle in there, and then the smoke comes out the top. And I just thought this was adorable. It's just a witch's hat. It's metal. It's nothing really special, so I only ask about probably $15 for this, but I thought it was cute. And I thought somebody might enjoy that. If they, if it doesn't sell this year, I'll use it for myself next year. 
Uh, we picked up two Pops, Funko Pops. This is, I can't even say that name, but they're both in the box. And I think he, own, I think he said these were only $2 a piece. So we have this dinosaur thing. And then we also have Owen Grady from Jurassic World. So I think both of these are supposed to go together. So I will see how much they're selling for, and then I'll decide. I might decide to sell them together or sell them separately. Depends on what comps look like. So I went ahead and picked those up. Thought those were cute. And then I picked up stuff all around me. I also have a special thing at the end of this video if you're interested. So I'm going to put it at the end of this video. We also went to TJ Maxx because I needed a couple things. I will show you a small haul from TJ Maxx if you're interested in that. But I also took pictures. They have tons and tons of Halloween and fall out right now. So I took pictures. I was going to add those at the end of this video. If you are a TJ Maxx fan, and like to shop there and if you're a Halloween fan fall fan you might be interested in seeing what they have at least around my stores it might be something to keep an eye out in your stores but I'll also show you a small haul that we got from them just for ourselves all right from the garage sale this is a polo Ralph Lauren size extra large 100% cotton men's sweater I this is in really really nice condition and so I went ahead and grabbed this because sweater season is coming upon us real soon. And I was trying to pick up some, a couple of sweaters. And then here is another Polo Ralph Lauren. This is Marina wool. And this is a size large. This is another men's sweater. And it doesn't have any holes or anything wrong with it. Matter of fact, if it smells like it's even been cleaned, the lady said that the person who donated these, I think it was like a church from a jail type thing. I don't know what it was, but she said the lady that donated these items, um, they were her husband. So, and she kept really good care of them. So they're really nice. The next thing I picked up was these Canon, uh, no iron muslin full fitted bottom sheet in this floral pattern. Pick that one up. And then I also picked up the Canon no iron muslin in a full flat sheet. So like, again, if we'll see how they're going together or how they're going separately. If not, I may end up selling these two together. So, cause this one is fitted and this is a flat. So I may end up selling those together as a lot. Depends. And then my husband found this house. This is really cute. It is missing its um, light bulb. It is St. Nicholas Square 2002. But I may end up ordering a couple of light bulbs. And I might even have some from last year left but I thought that was really really cute he found that so we went ahead and picked that up and then we picked up this one this is a Linux and um, this was actually made for the Kmart Corporation because it does have a Kmart sticker which I am going to take off there but it doesn't have a light either so I think if I can get a light for it then um i will sell light with it so and it's just an in so i thought those were cute and she only wanted a couple bucks a piece for those as well so i was like okay go ahead i'll take them all right um the next place is salvation army so that's all we got from the garage sale and Salvation Army. You guys kind of seen some of the stuff that we picked up, but not all of it. My husband picked up these. Uh, if you have been following my channel, you know that I will be getting a shed delivered. 
about the second week of September it's supposed to be here. So he found a full box of light switches. So we're going to use these for my shed. It looks like there's five, one, two, three, four, about 10 in here. It's a brand new box of light switches. So he figured we can use these, some of them for my shed, and then we'll just keep in case we need some around here for the house. So that was a cool thing. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to get to that um, estate sale today because they had wiring. I guess the guy was an electrician. So I'm definitely going next Saturday to that estate sale because we want to see what kind of wiring he had and if it's anything that we might be able to use for our shed. So anything that any way I could save money on these products for the shed, I'm going to do it. So our yard sale season is unfortunately winding down now so but they're still happening here and there all right this is the outside of this it's all in Chinese or Japanese or something but this is what the inside looks like it's brand new so I kind of did a really quick search on eBay and I found some these prices were insane and they were everywhere they were all the way from $19.99 to $75. So I need to do more research on that. But I thought they were pretty. And they were... What do we pay for this? $6.97. So I don't know. We're taking a chance. But being brand new, somebody might be interested in them. So, went ahead and picked those up, and then we picked up, I found this really cute sweater, I dropped my receipt, I ended up spending $32 at Salvation Army. I picked up this really cute sweater, and it is Akira, Akira, Akira. Oh, I don't know that brand. And it's a size small. But I couldn't pass this up. This was adorable. And I could just picture some little cutie girl wearing this this winter. Look how cute this is. It's a crop, and but it's just too cute. And I had to pick it up. This is the only piece of clothing I picked up because their clothing is pretty expensive and the thrift store that I normally go to, all their tops, doesn't matter what they are, are $4. And these, this Salvation Army, I paid $8.99 for this, this sweater. It would have been $4 at my original thrift store that I took you guys to on my last video. If you missed that, I'll link it down below. But I thought this was adorable and I just couldn't pass it up. Um, the next thing I picked up, you guys seen this in the video. My husband found them. Well, first of all, I found this. And this is Gail CC for anthropology. And this was $2.97, and it's a swan. I don't know how good of a thing you've seen in the video, but it's a swan. And I thought this was too cute. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then uh, the Mario thing that you guys seen in the video, we ended up passing because we think it might have should have had a uh, remote with it or something. And it didn't have a remote, so I went ahead and passed on that. But for $1.97 each, we ended up getting this Lennox Butterfly Meadow Eastern Tailed Blue. And they are freezer to oven to table, microwave, and dishwasher safe. So we ended up getting four of these. And we did find a teacup only one 
if we would have found three more, the other three to match this, I would have had the teacups as well. But we only found the one and I didn't want to just get the one. So very, very pretty. And I did look these up on eBay. Unfortunately, there are none sold. So I didn't figure this was going to be a quick seller. I figure I'd probably sit on it for a while. But someone did have a set of four listed for about $35. So it gives me a jumping off point anyways. So I thought they were pretty. And for $1.97, I figured why not? You know, sometimes you just gotta take a chance. And I know they always say, Get the stuff that sells has the quickest sell through rate but when stuff like this i'm willing to sit on it for a little bit just to find the right buyer so it's okay all right so that is actually all for the garage sale and salvation army and then like i said i needed to go to tj maxx to pick up some hair conditioner and of course when you go into TJ Maxx you can't just come out with air, hair stuff or whatever you went in for. So if you're interested in seeing my small TJ Maxx haul that will be next. If not thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a like, a thumbs up, subscribe and all that and I will see you on my next one. If you're interested in the TJ Maxx haul as well as some photos of what is in the store right now go ahead and stay tuned hey guys we're gonna do the tj maxx haul now so all right i only got a few things so this one won't be too long um i'm gonna tell you why i'm honestly not ready for fall this year our summer has been so beautiful here in Indiana, I mean, we haven't had, it hasn't been too hot. Our evenings have been cool. And usually when it's hot, crazy summer, I'm ready for fall. But with the summer that we've had, I am not ready for fall. Because it gets too cold too early and stays cold too long around here. And with these garage seals ending, it just makes me so sad because I know what's next. But what it is what it is all right we ended up getting two Halloween mugs and my husband picked spiders of course <sighs> of course he did <laughs> he had a skeleton one that he picked out and it ended up having a chip and he knows how much I hate spiders so he is ornery. I'm telling you guys, you, you may think he's a sweetheart, but he is ornery, <laughs> at least towards me. So, yeah, this is his mug, and um, it was $4.99. So, I ended up picking this one. <laughs> because I sure can be <laughs> and I thought that was pretty cute um, and this one was $4.99 as well we had to make sure on the bottom that they are microwavable safe because I picked out a witch one and it was glowing dark and I was reading on the bottom and it was not microwave safe so make sure when you guys are picking that out your cups out if you use them in the microwave make sure that they say microwave safe and then I went in there for my um, hair conditioner that I use. I bought this the last time I went to TJ Maxx and I absolutely love this hair conditioner. And I ran out and I've been out for of it for a while. It just says advanced clinicals for weak or color treated hair. It's biotin anti-breakage hair mask, and this is 12 ounces. So um, it's DEA free, paraben free, sulfate free, and no animal testing. But I do love this stuff. This is what it looks like. It is thick. And it smells good. It is thick. 
and I do love this stuff. So I had to go and get another one, and this was actually the last one that they had on the shelf. So this is, the strength is for biotin, the split ends is honey, and the roots is caffeine. And it says to apply to clean, damp hair, and then massage through the roots to end, leave on for five to 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and style as usual. So that's, that's that. And if you guys ever have a chance to try this, I got it at TJ Maxx. I think the last time I picked it up, I think it was at Burlington. So I believe Burlington carried it too. So I want to try it if you're looking for a good hair conditioner. Um, I ended up getting, I wanted something separate because my hair frizzes. I'm at the point where I don't know what to do with my hair anymore. I don't know whether to let it grow or cut it, but it does frizz because I do have naturally wavy hair and it just does what it wants to do as you can see right here, but it just frizzes when it wants to. And this is Frizz Be Gone Anti-Frizz frizz Polishing Serum to smooth out to smooth out of control hair and this is a 2.75 inch fluid ounce i have never tried this and it says 20 benefits to improve your smooth shea butter and sweet almond oil it is vegan cruelty free infused with natural botanical ingredients in recycled packaging it has no harmful sulfates PEGs, parabens, mineral oil, propylene glycol, phylates, or artificial dyes. So what it all is supposed to do is supposed to provide shine, defines waves and curls, tames frizz, smooths strands, silkens tresses, heat styling protection, Style manageability. Manage. Manage. I can't say it. I don't know why I can't say that. You guys know what I'm saying. Color safe. Controls static. Won't wear the, weigh the hair down. Uh, long lasting. Refined style. Uh, disciplines flyaways. Distributes easily. Helps restrict breakage hydrates trusses and helps improve elasticity so that's everything that it's supposed to do then you're just supposed to put it in your onto your hands smooth onto damp or dry hair style as desired so if I know how to open it I'm gonna to give it a shot get it going it's just an oil type thing with a pump I just hope it's not really greasy. Oh, smells good. I hope it doesn't make my hair look greasy. I don't want it to look greasy. So this is something I've never used before. I figured I'd give it a shot. I do color my hair, so I do do, do some damage to it. Um, but I figured, you know, I much have, I don't like the gray. If I was silver, like that really pretty silver that some women have, that would be different. I need to take a straightener to it. But the day is almost over, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. So, I don't know. We'll see how it, how it does. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to weigh my hair down. It smells really nice really nice it kind of has a baby powder scent to it so we'll see i don't know the next time you see me in a video i may have all this chopped off i haven't decided yet <laughs> so all right guys oh and my husband bought the dark chocolate covered espresso beans he likes these so that's all I have as far as the, nope, I lied. One more thing, almost forgot my doggie. Ended up getting this for my very spoiled dog. This is Peanuts and it's for Halloween. As you can see, Snoopy is dressed as a mummy and it's just a big old pillow 
for her cage. And then this side is just gray. So when Halloween's not here, we can have it on this side. So she'll like that, I think. She's out of the chewing stage, so she won't chew this one up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you did. And make sure you stay tuned, turn on your bells for my next video. Until then, stay tuned for some pictures from TJ Maxx of their Halloween. And I will see you next time. Thank you.